Hi people, this is Patrick. Today I'm going to talk about how to set up Vocalizer Pro or an earlier version of Vocalizer 1.0 in my DAW, which is Sona. I'm using X3, but I believe this is applicable from Sona X1 onwards. I'm going to be using Contact today because I believe lots of people are using Contact and uh, it's really a popular synth. So let's choose a brass ensemble. I'm going to just play in a few bars of stuff, some sustain notes and some staccato notes. Not the most beautiful playing, but that should help us along with our demo quite adequately. What I've done is just um, selected a region, hit Shift L to define in and out markers for my repeat. So I'm going to be setting this on repeat. So how does Vocalizer Pro fit into this signal chain? Uh, I have a, a pair of tracks. So this is the MIDI signal going into the synth, which outputs audio, which then comes into the FX sense section and uh, fader section. So um, Vocalizer Pro needs to go into the FX section uh, where after the contact outputs audio signal. So I'm going to my audio FX and insert Vocalizer Pro in, in the audio channel. Okay, and this is Vocalizer Pro telling us that we need some special setup, which is what we're going to do. So this is the interface of Vocalizer Pro, and uh, it's been inserted into the signal chain. I'm going to play again, uh, whatever we just recorded. Nothing's coming out, uh, but the MIDI is sending, uh, playing back the performance. Notice that if I turn off this... So what's happening is, uh, if you turn it on and there's no sound, Vocalizer Pro is doing its job. So what's hap really happening? So let me turn back on. If I start depressing keys, so what's happening here? V Vocalizer Pro needs a MIDI input. So when I when I I was pressing this mouse uh, on the virtual keyboard in Vocalizer Pro, uh, mangled sound of this brass. Uh, performance came came through, so Vocalizer Pro sort of opened opened up the the gate and uh, let the sound the process sound through. So what we're gonna do is to have instead of have me pressing this virtual keyboard, which cannot be recorded. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna offload this this playing uh, to another MIDI track, which then feeds into this virtual keyboard. Okay, I'm just going to leave this one side for a while. Let's insert a second MIDI track. So this, let's name this as Brass MIDI. And this is the Vocalizer Pro input, MIDI input. On the Brass MIDI, it's going into Contact, which is um, this, Contact 5.2, I believe. Okay, so, uh, okay, Contact 5.1 was a previous synth. I'm going to delete that to avoid confusion. Right, so and then 5.2 has become 5.1, so uh, whatever uh, that Sona decides to rename. So I'm back in my brass MIDI and uh, you can see that now there's only one instance of contact and it's called con contact 5.1. It's on port 2. Uh, what we need is for vocalizer to open up and to be recognized as one of uh, one of the instances that can receive MIDI data so that we can target it. So I'm going to go back to uh, open up this instance and under VST2 setting I can see that uh, there's a enable MIDI input. So we want a second stream of MIDI uh, to come and control this virtual keyboard. So after I've done that, okay, let me stow it away. Um, let me go back to my Vocalizer Pro MIDI input and I drop this down. 
and I begin to see as there's another port created uh, called Localizer Pro 1 so I'm gonna select that now you can see when I am controlling this channel and now I'm playing something on my hardware MIDI keyboard you can see that the, it triggers this virtual keyboard in Vocalizer Pro so essentially our setup is complete and now we can start playing around with these um, oscillators and filters and, and generators and have a have a go at all these different presets so I, we, we've taken the pain to set up so I'm gonna play this and trigger this uh, with my key that's my staccato notes yeah and then sustain this is the sustain notes changing it yeah so that's vocalizer just vocalizer pro doing its thing so um what we've just done here it's uh we're using a synth as the sound source and we're using a second midi channel to to perform the mangled sounds so we could easily have used just a waveform or a recorded guitar riff uh, or a si or somebody singing for example and and then if we did that we wouldn't need this initial uh, MIDI channel so all we need all we needed was to have an audio track okay and this audio track to be uh, to be using vocalizer pro okay so this is my second instance and I could use this uh, and on my second track the vocalizer pro I again I need to enable MIDI input okay and um, in here in I can I can use back this MIDI input to to target this vocalizer instance instead of the first one so you can see that I have two vocalizer pro uh, so I'm gonna target this vocalizer pro and um, just let me insert uh, a wave file Okay, so I have my friend Glenn, a, gu a great guitarist, playing back his guitar riff, and I'm going to drop this guitar riff as a as an audio file in my channel. Okay, and I'm going to just trim it a little bit and put it in in the region of my repeats. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so now what we've set up would be. This guy, uh, our MIDI, secondary MIDI input is controlling my vocalizer. So as long as I don't depress any key and I play back, I'm, good, I'm just going to mute, uh, mute my contact. Okay, just mute that MIDI channel. Ah, uh, the, the, the first synth. Okay, as we experienced just now, Vocalizer Pro is working. Nothing is going in because I haven't uh, triggered it. Okay. Before I do anything, let's just listen to the guitar performance by turning off vocalizer and letting the, the, the audio signal go through. Yeah, so, uh, so I'm just going to turn back on vocalizer. Uh, playback and we're going to use this Vocalizer Pro MIDI input. So I'm going to play. So we can see that I'm, I'm triggering triggering the performance.
Uh, it could be done in a synthesizer setup. It could be done in a wave file. So I hope this uh, has been useful to you. Um, drop me a message if you like it or if you found it to be helpful. Alright, see you again next time.